good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, October the 2nd. Here are today's top headlines. Police open fire on a pursuit suspect in San Pedro. That chase coming to an end after a big crash in a Target parking lot. We're live with the latest. Plus, Governor Gavin Newsom has made his pick to fill the Senate seat long held by the late Dianne Feinstein. What we know about her replacement. And California sees the first snowflakes of the fall season. We're going to show you where this happened. KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Fall is upon us. It's yeah. here, yeah. Uh, good morning to you. I'm Chris Shaw. And I'm Lauren Lister in for Megan Henderson this morning. We, of course, have Ginger Chan watching yes. the roads and Henry DiCarlo looking at the weather. We saw those yep. little snowflakes, little snow flurries. They didn't stick, though. No, it didn't stick, but uh, it was nice to see a little snow yeah. for up in the mountain communities. And we got some decent rain late Saturday through yeah, we Sunday. Did. Yeah, we uh, did. Yeah. Second system really kind of fizzled out for us. We talked about that late last week, saying it's going to stay a little bit more to the north. But it is leaving some cooler air behind. So mm. we do have still a cold mm. front that's pushing through to the north and bringing us some uh, cooler air. But summer, by the way, is saying, not so fast, my friends. <laughs> uh, we may be weeks removed from summer. But it's going to feel like summer middle of the week. we got yeah. a big warm-up coming. So uh, we have something to look forward to there for those that want to see a little more heat. Here's the live look into Huntington Beach, which, by the way, all accounts, I was not there, but uh, the air show delivered again this year. Always mm. delivers, yeah. uh, It always does deliver. Yeah. It's one of those things. You have to do it if you haven't done it, but uh, beautiful day on Saturday for the air show. Got a few drops mm -hmm. um, over the weekend, but overall, uh, boy, by all accounts, beautiful, beautiful uh, air show this past weekend in Huntington Beach. Mid-70s. So we're a little cooler today. That cold front dragging in some cooler air. We're fighting temperatures going below the average but still mid 70s in the sunshine uh, this is this is great weather great way to start your Monday we'll talk about a big, big warm-up show you the seven day in just a few moments in the meantime ginger over to you yeah I mean they had to make adjustments a little bit for the air show you know of course that makes sense right with the way the weather was but it was exactly as Henry Mark had said it was going to be so let's make sure you know all about your drive we have this project that is on a spot in a spot that's not always heavily traveled but you know it is a major inconvenience if you normally do take the stretch of the 241 at this early hour so they'll go between the 261 over to about the 133 split. You can continue to the 261 over to the 5 freeway. It all depends on where you need to end up, right? Let's show you downtown. And yeah, as Henry's mentioning, you can tell there's a chill in the air. You can see, though, not a lot of cars on the road, at least not anymore. Very nice for the harbor stretch of the 110. It almost looks like the roads are still a little wet here. I don't think so, but you still want to give yourself a little extra time on this Monday morning. We'll watch all these things. I'll send it back to you guys. Ginger, thank you. We begin with breaking news in San Pedro, where an investigation is underway into an officer involved. Sh Myers, live. State dispute. There was an officer involved shooting in the. The end taken to the hospital. Now you. A crash. That suspect was taken into custody and taken to the hospital. Now you can see here in this shopping center parking lot, the scene is still active at this early hour. Now what we know so far, just before 9:30 last night, officers responded to this child custody dispute, which happened in the Target parking lot at Capitol and Gaffey. When officers got here, they made contact with the people involved in the incident. Now, at some point, a woman in her late 30s got into a vehicle and attempted to flee. During that time, she intentionally hit a female pedestrian. As the suspect vehicle continued to drive away from the scene, she encountered an officer, and that's when an officer-involved shooting occurred. Now, the suspect vehicle left the shopping center parking lot and fled westbound on Capitol Drive, and a pursuit began. We are told the suspect was the only person in the vehicle and was not struck by gunfire, but... 